In this video, we'll be talking about the flap repeating technique. Now the first step to flap repeat is to insert your mandrel into the chuck of the handpiece grinder. You take the key and you tighten the mandrel in place. You then take a flap and insert it into the slot of the mandrel. Now you see that it's a bit loose, so you need to use a vice grip and tighten the flap in place. You might want to do that a few times to make sure that the flap does not move in the mandrel. Okay. Now sometimes there's some residue on the media that's, that are on the flap. So what you could do is take a piece of sandpaper and flap repeat the sandpaper to remove the residue on the flap. So doing this for 15, 20 seconds will be enough to remove the residue. The next step, you take a new almond strip and you install it on the almond gauge. Make sure it's solidly placed. And you see, this is the arc height, initial arc height on this almond strip. So what we do is we zero the, uh, the gauge specifically for this almond strip. And we install the strip on the magnetic block, magnetic holder. Now you wanna use the magnetic holder with the permanent strip on the right side and the strip that will be pinned on the left side. Why is that? Is that this makes sure that you won't be damaging the media on your flaps while you're flap repeating, okay? Now we're ready to flap repeat. If you're doing an almond strip to generate a saturation curve, then you could set the time up in the machine and we'll cover that in the next video. And when you're flap repeating, you move in an orbital mo motion on the almond strip. Like this, you want to keep your tool nice and perpendicular to the surface that you're flap repeating. Okay. So you flap repeat for an amount of time, could be 30 seconds for your first point or a minute. Okay. And you need to go halfway out on the strip on both sides to make sure that you're getting a nice coverage. Okay, so when the time's up, you remove the almond strip from the block and you put it on the gauge. And you see in this case, we're getting 4.8 thousandths of an inch arc height for this first point. 